Okay, so we're going to take a look now at how to mount the servos onto the servo mounts. Um, so we'll start with the left hand side. And the servo motors will come in a pack with the servo motor and then another little pack like this with some uh, little horns and um, a couple of screws and so on. So we'll start first of all with this uh, left hand servo motor. And we need to take you know, one of these little A shaped uh, actuators. Now I find it can be helpful um, for starters just to plug the servo motor onto the expansion board um, just to set it back to its zero position. Um, so, And you want to use one of the pins um, that we've uh, dedicated which are uh, 8, 7, 6, 3 and 2. So, and always plug it in with the orange wire uh, facing the outside. And just loosely plug it in there and that'll uh, reset the servo back to its um, zero position. And then since all this is going to be mounted in here, like so, uh, we want to put this actuator on uh, with that orientation. So and get it as close as, as possible as you can to flat. There it goes. Um, so you can see that's got a little bit of an angle there, but if we try and go the other way, oh, there we go. That's a little bit better. It's a bit more flat. Sometimes it will, um, when you get it on there, whichever way you get it on there, will still be a little bit of an angle. But we can correct that later on with the coating. Okay, so once that's on, um, we need to take the smallest screw out of this pack and screw it into that uh, central position there. Okay, so that's how that should look when that's done. And now we're going to basically repeat the exact same process with a different servo motor, um, but for this right hand side now. So we'll get a new servo. Again, uh, plug it onto here, and actually, any of the pins we're using will work. Just to zero it, um, take one of these A shaped actuators, put it on as flat as we can. Again, with uh, this right hand orientation now because it's going to go in here. And then put the screw in to that central point there, the smallest screw from the packet. Okay, we've now got two of those done. You can see there the opposite orientation and we're going to put them to one side now because we're actually going to install those ones last okay and so the next one we want to do is now uh, this one here on the left hand side uh, so again you take a new servo motor and I find it easier just to tip out the all the screws and bits and pieces and there are some extra horns that you don't need. That's these little white pieces. There are certain shapes that we don't need, but they come with the packs anyway. Okay, again, plug it on here just to uh, zero it. All right, and this one is going to sit in that position there. And it requires one of these actuators. Um, so again... We're just going to try and sit that as flat as we can on there and put the screw into that point there, the smaller screw from the pack. Okay, this guy's now ready to uh, go into place. So the first thing you want to make sure you, sure you do is uh, poke this through that little slot there, because all the wires run underneath these servo mounts. And then he should sit into place like so. And then we've got a couple of screw holes here that we need to um, use these 
slightly longer screws um, which these can be a little bit fiddly um, and sometimes just because of a bit of variability with the manufacturer they can be quite difficult to line up um, but sometimes if you just need to move the servo motor a bit further away to be able to line it up so we'll put the first one in and we'll tighten them a little bit but not all the way up and then we'll do the same on the other side All right, and once they're started, then we can uh, tighten them all the way through to the end. Okay, so next we're going to fit this uh, actuator to the left-hand side, and he has to actually slot down into that gap. Um, which can be a little bit fiddly, so I find it easiest if you uh, just twist this a little bit and you need to make sure that the servo motor is unplugged when you twist it, so put it so it's on an angle uh, and then you should be able to slide him down into place like so, and then turn him back there we go and again it's just a matter of lining up these screws uh, on either side Okay, so we've screwed that in place now, and this side is basically ready to go, so it should look um, like this. And from the underside there, you can see the two actuators. Uh, this wire should be poking through, and this one, uh, you can just put in that little notch there, and then it runs down on the inside like that. Um, but that's that side done now, so we can put that to one side, and move on to the right-hand servo mount. So we want to grab another servo motor now. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to attach uh, this little T-shaped actuator. Um, so again, you should just connect this to one of our active pins just to get it to zero. And then, so this one's going to sit uh, in here. So with that in the zero position, this just clicks onto here, like so. Again, try and get it as close to flat as you can. If it's not perfectly flat, uh, we can fix that with the code a little bit later. And we'll want to screw that into place. All right, and now we can put that into position. Now you want to feed this through that gap first, and then put the servo motor into place like so. Yeah, and then we need to do these screws. Now you'll see actually it's important we do this bit first before we put the servo motor in because uh, once this one's in place you can't get access to that screw um, to tighten it into place so that's why we're starting with these ones first
All right. Now, same as the other side, we need to um, fit this down beside that one. So again, I find it easier if we uh, turn this slightly first. Slide it into place. And then turn it back. Again. There we go. And then we need to screw him into place at these two points as well. Okay, so that's basically uh, all screwed in place now at those two points. And again, there's a little notch there that you can just slot the wires into. Um, the only thing left to do on this one is the uh, the soft reset servo motor. So there's one more servo motor, uh, which we'll just grab now. And again, with this one, if you have the XL version, uh, you need to slot this through the gap first and then that goes into place like so and can be just screwed in either, on either side and then you can put uh, the little servo horn onto it at that angle there at 90 degrees again um, it can be a good thing just to put power into the servo to make sure it's sitting at that 90 degree position. Um, if you have a standard 3DS version, the servo motor actually sits up the other way. So it sits up that way. And uh, uh, you need to make sure you screw the servo horn on first before you put this into place and screw it in. Because obviously when it's sitting like that, you can, can no longer screw in uh, the servo horn onto there. Okay. Um, so that's how to put all the uh, servo motors onto the servo mounts. Um, so the next step is to put the servo mounts into place.